Kip, let's talk about them live shows, baby. Ooh, that Middle Class Famous Tour. That's a good, good time, that Middle Class Famous Tour. We're coming to a city near you. It's a stand-up comedy show. Then we play a little AYG with the crowd. Fantastic way to introduce new people to the show. Grab your best guy. Grab your best gal. Grab your girlfriends. Grab your guy friends. Bring the whole squad and come see us. Yeah, gang. Next week, uh, September 13th, we're going to be in Kansas City. Woo. Then September 14th, we're going to be in Springfield. All right. Then in September 15th, we're going to be in St. Louis. Then yeah. in October, we're coming to Nashville. We're going to Indy, November, yeah. we're going to Philly, second show out of there, that's almost sold out, get those tickets, don't sleep on that, then we're coming to Providence, Rhode Island, and Boston in December, those shows are sold out at the moment, but we're adding tickets, be on the lookout. Yeah! Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey, yeah. Little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're going to be classy. Yeah. But they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, I'm trash, your host, trash. H. Foley, coming at you on a bit of a somber day down here at Antonio's oh, basement. Boy. What she's, happened? She's very upset. God. Ozzy's moving back to England. I heard. She thought she had a shot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's all bummed out. Yeah. Man. He signed her titty at a concert a few years ago, and that was it. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's a family episode. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He is the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boards, baby. Yeah. Give it up for Mr. Steal Your Girl 2003. <laughs> KJ, Kevin James Ryan. All right, what's up, everybody? The ladies' man back in high school. Weird joke. Okay. Um, uh, somebody was Mr. Steal Your Girl. Who was it? It was Usher or something? That was like somebody's nickname back in the day. That's a good AKA one. AKA Mr. Steal Your Girl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was Kippy <laughs> doing his Puff Daddy karaoke. Being around. Uh, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shred her out. It's cooking. Then obviously I'd be remiss. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things cooking around here. Tootie's recently. Not yeah. to mention a mess she's got going up there. But, I mean, the YouTube numbers, true to roof. Cooking. Right? The audio numbers, true to roof. Those, cooking. those live shows, sold out. Whoa. I mean... Shout out to Seattle and Portland. But there is nothing quite as white hot as that motherfucking Patreon.com. Slash, are you garbage? Thank you, Mr. Conti and Mr. Yeah. Check it the fuck out, baby. Shout out to the fucking army of garbage. All mm -hmm. the generals on there. Yeah. Appreciate it. Love the fucking support. Y'all are the best. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. He works the ones and twos. He crosses the T's. He dots the I's. Mm -hmm. Spins all the hits. Does the drive time. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? Hey, T-Bone. Trey Songs was Trey Mr. Songs, Steal Your Girl. A.K.A. Ah, Mr. Steal Your Girl. I believe it, too. Huh? <laughs> Yikes. By the way, I caught... I was Mr. Steal Your Hot Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Lunch. <laughs> I bet you did a little trading back in the day. Get no, your hands no. on something. You're nuts. You oh, thought I wanted right. what other people have? You're crazy. You're such a weird fat kid, man. It's so strange. You're a weird fat man, but <laughs> I yeah, no, not I'm traditional. I like the normal things that a normal fat guy would eat. But you weren't like a big sweets guy back in the. When I mean, you were this kids. is this is old hat. We've gone over this, but yeah, you got I mean, fat on rolls. That's nuts. Yeah, carbs. You act like you act like, you act like it was just Skittles that got you fat, all right? Well, they were. I was a combination. You were having pancakes ten times a week a month ago. I had a little bit of a, a more creative palate, I would say. Like because you liked candy. It's not like you got fat eating filet mignon, you chubster. <laughs> London <laughs> Royal. Uh, yeah, I was. I was Wellington our... every day. <laughs> You've been eating fucking. You eat everything. Yes, I do. Yeah, I was a picky eater. Picky eater. Yeah, I like my buttered noodles. Yeah. I like my peanut butter sandwiches. There you go. I like my chicken nuggies. There I like go. my french fries. And barbecue sauce. <laughs> Not the, until my teenage years. That was the palate. You were like Taco Bell. <laughs> Never. Th I don't I don't fuck with Taco Bell. No, I mean, you made a bunch of shit with small ingredients. Oh, yeah. 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 What I was going to say tight. is I saw that. Uh, the What'd you see? I saw the documentary of the, the N1 doc. On Me too. Do you hey, see? yo. Shout out to Hot Sauce. <laughs> Man, I was. Uh, yeah. Hot sizzle. Professor. The professor, Man. I remember when that shit, that was like, 
I com- I had no- I completely I thought I thought first of all I was I, I thought- used to be able to do some of the moves. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a rock, some Tebow, hit me. I'm not fat. There's a basketball in my shirt. I was I could do that one. Hey yo. <laughs> You that was wear, also great at halftime. You want to wear like a 4X to pull that move off. You got to be kidding me. I had no idea. That that completely. I remember the shorts, I guess. I didn't know that they were a separate company. What I thought mean? Nike owned that. Yeah. I thought that was like an offshoot. By the time that came on my radar, those my dad was wearing those. I have a pair of You're animal like hot shorts. Sauce. Now I can get into this. All right. I, I, I had a pair of those that my dad wore to play racquetball. Your dad was rocking N1 gear to yeah. racquetball? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Give ne- it up for honey mustard, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he never moved. I played with him once or twice. He would just stand there and rip the ball about 4,000 miles an hour. Yeah. Those yeah. old-timers learn how to hit it hard and where to put it because they don't like moving. No, not yeah, at all, yeah. man. He ran me ragged. <laughs> Talking shit the whole time, too. Running his mouth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, I was big back in the day. I was in huge. It was so good. The- early high school, probably early two thousands is when it hit. Yeah, like really big. And I remember, like, I remember those DVDs going around. Like yeah. we would get our hands on the DVD. Like, oh shit, I got volume four, volume five. Or you know what a headquarters was? Paoli, I, did, I did not know that. It was right outside. It was our, you know, it was our stomping grounds. It started in Philly. Yeah. yeah. First one was in Linden, New Jersey. So they did the first one. It was like a couple people there. Then they were selling out stadiums, and they were in Europe backing it out, too. I know. Pretty sweet, man. That's a tough gig. This, when- has this been Business Corner with H. Foley? <laughs> <laughs> I heard their uh, gr- gross t- domestic revenue was over $200 million. Did you know anybody that tried out? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I can about? see some of your buddies. Try out? Yeah, they had tryouts. Yeah, no, we weren't trying out. First of all, we were like 14 from Bucks County, The professor was young. Yeah, but he had handles. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Cross you up. He's still big online right now. Snap your I, septum. I follow him on TikTok. You do? He still goes He still goes to the fucking court and balls out. Really? Embarrassed. Well, now it's a thing because he was so big. And he, he you know pivoted, and now he's like huge on YouTube, I think, is like or all social media. But I think he's got a really big TikTok channel, and he goes places, and it's like, now you try to beat the professor. Nice. But if you're wearing N1 now. Sounds like a Patreon goal to me. Tough look. Oh, we get the professor out here, run some fucking game. <laughs> you out there. That'd be pretty sweet. I'd probably score a couple. I'd back them down. Now, when does that come back into style now for the kids? N1, N1, N1's a tough look. You think? Yeah. Now, like, but it could come. It's everything cyclical. It could be cool. Yeah, again. but it come back ironically. Because the kids, the kids are wearing them. Uh, uh, that uh, shit's all ironic. The new. What does that mean though? You're still wearing it. How is that yeah, ironic? Yeah, you're wearing because it it's not cool. Yeah, it's not what the cool kids are wearing. Right, but then it is what the cool kids are wearing. Sure. So we could do that for N one. Maybe I'll try to bring it back. There you go. Think I got a shot? Is this you telling me you bought N one shorts? That's what I think this whole fucking thing is. Might be a couple of charges on the Amex. Yeah. <laughs> Might be questionable. I'd get the sneaks. I remember the sneaks. Mm-hmm. A couple of associates of mine used to wear them. Older gentlemen. Drug Gigolos? Dealers. What do you mean? <laughs> drug dealers. You were going to old drug dealers? Yeah, had a couple. Older guys? Yeah, older guys. They were the What's best. up, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> Can't call it. <laughs> ah, that's almost verbatim. Ah. Yeah. He used to, he used to, and he was a big ringtone guy. Oh, yeah. The one dude, real big ringtone guy. Oh, man. Good times. Yeah, good times. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, I did want to ask you one thing before we get started. As you know, gang, page, or this is a uh, family episode. Thought we lost you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tebow made eye contact in that moment. I was like, oh, boy. Yeah, you've been making a lot of eye contact, too. I see that going on. Yeah. I'm getting old. I'm getting old and see that. <laughs> You're nervous. You think we're after you. You're going to put me in a home. <laughs> I'm going to come in. Orderlies are going to come in with a big net and yeah. get you. Next thing you know, I'm sitting playing checkers with some guy wearing a helmet. I don't like it. We got a headset mic on you. <laughs> we pipe you in. <laughs> hey, applesauce, hit the intro, will you? <laughs> I got to go. It's San Gelato night. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. 
Gang, it's a family episode, as you know. When you sign up for the Patreon, you get your question read right on the air. But before we I get into I can't believe we just did like a business rundown of N1. That was like a documentary review. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jim Kramer over here. Let's go. Who's <laughs> Jim Kramer? What a mad money guy. <laughs> oh, that guy sucks. <laughs> Hey, cue ball zipping, will you? <laughs> he got caught like embezzling and shit. Now he's still on TV. I caught Buddy, that. Get out of here. I caught that in the hotel in Seattle. I'm like, this shit's still he running. Was all, he was on every channel, that fucking guy. <laughs> I'm trying to sit there. Well, I was trying to watch him stay by the bell or and something. And Bozo's still calling in. Like, what are you nuts? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Buy weapons. What are you doing? <laughs> fucking listen to this guy. Brick and mortar, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, before we get into that, I was going to ask you, mm-hmm. were you a pork loin family growing up? I th- Again, I guess this goes back. I know you didn't fuck with it. I think so. I, yeah, I remember loin. I remember. I remember pork loin was big. When I remember got, visually seeing them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When that thing was laid out in the sink on your way to school, you knew it was going to be some good eating that I remember night. seeing it in a pan. I remember the black pan that, you know that like... Kind of marble looking black pan that was big back in the day. No. It's like the finish. It had like white specks. It was like black. Every oh, bit. I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was, it, but it had, it was like uh, Old West kind of cookware. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. de- decorated a little bit. Sure, but it sure. Was, you know, I remember a fucking pork loins being in that thing with like rosemary and thyme being like, get this the fuck away from me. Dude. A little sauerkraut. Oh, oh loved never. it. Little mash, little coleslaw, and some applesauce. Yeah, you like a pork loin? Love a pork loin, dude. Pork loins are all right. That's the filet mignon of fucking uh, pig meat. Okay, that's a way to put it. <laughs> I'm down with this. I'm a hoof man myself. Would your family season it themselves, or would you buy the pre-seasoned, vacuum-sealed grocery store? The half field, they were big. Oh, yeah. Pre-seasoned, buddy. Already got the undercoating right, on it. It's already cooked, too. <laughs> Slide that thing. I think we did get a couple that were cooked. <laughs> I remember just put it on the hood of the car on the white ride home. <laughs> Dinner in ten. Ah, uh, shit! Shout out to a pork loin, delicious, yeah. good meal. I had a, uh, I, I had a bit of a trashy. It's one of those things because you know inherently we're so trashy. But my card got declined. Yikes! Where? Yeah. Um, and is that going to happen to me? No, it's my personal card. <sighs> Loser. Yeah, tough luck. Dude. Yikes! The lady looked at me with just such. I went shop. I had to buy a suit. I got a wedding coming up. I had to buy a suit. Nice. Um, so her not like a, Sweet T's wedding, right? Not Tommy C's wedding. No. All right. You're not buying yet, right? No, I mean, I'm going to use the one I just. You're going to use the same suit, huh? Yeah. 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 Damn. All right. Uh, you have to check out just the pants, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can we let these out, by the way? Um, <laughs> just the pants. I go. So I go, I go shopping upstairs. I buy the suit, right? Upstairs where? There was two floors. It was like men's upstairs, women's downstairs. I think we were at a Banana Republic, maybe, really? or a J. Crew, one of them. What? You're fitting into things over there? Yeah, I'm not. I, dude, I'm nowhere near as big. I wear an extra large. Okay. All right. I don't know. <laughs> the listeners have gassed you up to think we are the same size. We are not the same. I'm not saying we're the same size. I'm just surprised you fit into those European cuts now. J. Crew and Banana Republic aren't European. Okay. That's why I did not say H&M <laughs> or Zara. Okay? I had to fucking move up out of there. Good luck. I'm an American large, all right? <laughs> Good luck getting you into a Uniqlo, huh? <laughs> Dude, never, never. I got to go in the loading dock. <laughs> um, but I get fucking, I'm there, buy the suit, don't want to brag, Suit, shirt, all came to seven hundred. Jesus, right? Expensive, but I got a lot of. I got a wedding this weekend. Wait, got, where'd you? So where'd you? Actually I got three get weddings it? in the next six weeks or something. Like where'd that. you actually get it? I forget honestly. J Crew or Banana Republic? Is it? Uh, does I J- think it was Banana Republic. Does Banana Republic only sell Banana Republic products, or do they have other designers? I think it's only Banana Republic. Banana Republic suit, seven hundred bucks, huh? I think the jacket was. I think it was like three and two or three and three for the jacket, the pants, and then a shirt. I thought they were old news. Maybe two. Sh- I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I honestly Should forget. Got where some man ones. Hey yo, <laughs> that's my nephew. Um. So I buy that, and I don't know. Anytime I make a big purchase, I'm always real wonky. I have no. Con- I have no credit card confidence. None. Not zero. So- I ch- I I check. Right before. I wanted to, but I didn't because I wasn't going. My wife's like, here, let's pop in here. 
So I was going to, we, I was going to go to the whatever store I was trying to go to. Does she lead the charge on stuff like that? What do you mean? Does she pick out the outfit and all that stuff for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like she's not dressing me. I have a say. I'm a grown man at the end of the day. You uh-huh. know what I mean? A lot of room in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this in a bit. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, Shout out to Patty. Um, She'd give me a karate chop right in the balls <laughs> make every sure time. There was, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Why were they so worried about the crotch space in the 80s and 90s? Because we were too fat. Not, I know, but not once ever. From when I started buying my own pants, I ever been like, there's too much room in this crotch. Because you run around the schoolyard and a fat shit like you is going to rip it right down the middle. And then you're fucking up shit. Wait, how is this on me and not you? <laughs> you're just projecting. Because I, no, I was reinforced everywhere. <laughs> I was like a transformer. I tack welds some dude, fucking gear tough, in there. Dude, I had tough skin crotch, tough skin knees, the whole nine yards. I look like a fucking... <laughs> look like a welder. <laughs> look like I played for the Baltimore Colts. Yeah. Um, so I go up and um, I buy that, goes through, and I was a little nervous. I didn't check, right? Uh-huh. What are you using? Uh, can I ask you? you using debit card, credit card? I got a debit card. Debit card. You don't have a personal credit card, do you? I do have a personal credit card. I got... Uh, I got like a, something real bad with two hundred dollar credit limit. They won't juice me. And then I got a Venmo. Remember, I pulled the wool over Venmo's eyes. That's right. That's at about three grand. Really? Yeah. They moved that. I think I got approved at twenty two hundred for the Venny, and then they bumped it to three three grand. Huh? Yeah. That's pretty good. But I get that to the broad. That's her. You let her. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I like because she's got the her. Uh, ba, 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 she has European credit cards still with her bank, and a lot of time they freeze it or like, hey, I don't know what's going on. You know exactly because sure. if it's used too much in the U.S. or whatever, they'll just fucking spike. Three the, G's through Venmo. Yeah. Is it Visa or Mastercard? Uh, I don't know. I never met the gentleman. I don't know. It's got to be one of them. Can't just be a Venmo card. Does it come out of your Venmo? I'll huh. tell you right now. Hold on. It should say it on it, right? I thought you said it was for her. Oh, she has it. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be real Sorry. suspect if you had it. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Capital One Platinum with 200 buck credit limit, though. No flies Those on you, huh? jerk-offs won't fucking increase it either. Yeah, they play hardball. I am late for it. I'm months, actually getting back still. in their good graces. My credit score is jumping. Um, But, so I go, I buy that, and I go, it's one of those things where I know I have the money in there. Mm-hmm. But I'm like still nervous, and then it fucking it goes through, and I'm like, Phew. I feel like I'm like I feel like I robbed the bank, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm like, all right, hey, one for the good guys. Yeah. Go downstairs. She's like, oh, let me. She's looking or something. I go, all right, I'll, yeah, but she a sweater or something like that. So I go, oh, yeah, let's get it, you know, come on. And she doesn't like spend. I got to convince her to spend money. Mm-hmm. I'm like, most guys have to tell their wives to stop spending. I'm like, fucking take the Uber, get this, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm like, a big take the Uber guy. She, she's, Take the Uber. she's still taking a subway like no, a fucking bozo. I'm like, what are you doing? They're eating people's food on the subway. <laughs> it's right nuts. It's crazy. So I uh, I go to get it. So I go to get her sweater. 60 bucks, something like that. 50, 40 bucks. So it's like, you know, and it gets declined. Blue too close to the sun, huh? Pork and chop. I'm like, fuck. And I'm like, maybe I put the pin in wrong. And I know I didn't put the pin in wrong. But I tried again. Mm-hmm. Declined. And now they take the suit back. <laughs> We're going to add more room to this crotch. And I'm like, fuck. But I got the suit in hand and now it's getting to. So sh- I go, I can use another card. Right. But now I'm like, I'm also flying blind on other cards. Why don't you go to the app on the phone and say what to find out what the deal? That's real trash stuff. Hold on a second. There's 10 grand in that account. Oh, I've done that so many Cause times. You're a dirtbag. No, I go in. If, if, it, if it gets declined, I go in and transfer it. Hang on one second. I got to move some stuff around. <laughs> I didn't have the 1499 for the Bernie's. <laughs> Let me call my offshore guy. <laughs> anybody know the, anybody know the country code to Switzerland by any chance? He could be skiing right now. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's 8 a.m. in China. Gotta... <laughs> it's a banking holiday in Beijing, I think. <laughs> Her clothes. <laughs> you know, the new year. <laughs> year of the rat. <laughs> year of the fat rat. Uh, um, Sunday in Taipei. And she hit me with, we can do multiple forms of payment if you want. And I was like, I got to you know, say. You're it's- splitting a sweater? <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. She adds the gratuity. <laughs> I don't trust them. <laughs> Ooh, I've, been yeah. in that, I've been in that situation as a server. And you just have to fucking own it, man. I uh, what like 
I thought she was believe. I go, I just bought it upstairs. Man, it might be like a security thing, which it was. But I got the text like five minutes later in the next door going. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want you robbing them. That was a security <laughs> issue. No, it was, it was, did you make this charge? Did you try to make a $60 charge? You're that much of a bozo? A $600 charge comes up. Hey, is this you? No, it was multiple times in the same store. Okay. That I, within, you know, five minutes or whatever. All right. That they were probably like, this is weird activity. Okay. Nobody <laughs> buys multiple things in the store at the same time, <laughs> except Kippy. Um, Nobody buys a suit that's forty five twenty eight. <laughs> they so, don't know I'm shopping for a suit. It could have been a tie. <laughs> something's not added up. Kip, I got it. What? Nutrafol. Nutrafol? You know Nutrafol. I know you've been using it, baby. Who you been talking to? Yeah, gang, you don't have to choose between fighting hair loss and your overall health anymore. Mm-hmm. There is a holistic solution, and it is Nutrafol. Do yourself a favor. Get over there. Hear what they have to say. It's absolutely fantastic. You don't have to make any compromises anymore when it comes to your hair loss. Yeah, uh, no drugs, no compromises. Healthier hair and whole body wellness. That's what the good folks over there at Nutrafol are doing. Mm -hmm. As a baldy over here, take my word for it. Act quick. If you're a young whippersnapper out there, or even if you're older and it's thinning and it's going... Try give Nutrafol, Nutrafol a try. It is fantastic. Number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, clinically shown to improve your hair growth thickness and visible scalp coverage. And listen, it ain't all about. Listen, this is my world. This is my realm. This is my arena. I know you and your luxurious locks over there can go kick rocks. Sure, I'm talking to the cue balls out there, baby. This is for even it'll stop. It'll slow it down. You got you to try to do something. You know what I mean? Don't just ride off into the sunset. Like a cue ball, unless you're like Bruce Willis or somebody. No drugs either. No poison. None of that stuff. Overall body health. That's what I'm all about. Yes. It's uh, multi-target root causes of thinning include stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, lifestyle through whole body health. Physician formulated uh, using new- natural medical grade ingredients. Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable, reliable results without compromising your sexual health, which is a big problem with the other options. Uh, in, cl- in clinical study, men showed progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three to three and six months. Here it goes. There you you can go. grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering promo code garbage to save $15. Now we're talking cold, hard kisses over go. here. 15 bucks off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Do it. Do it. Kip, I got a bombshell for you. What's that? Mint Mobile, baby. (sighs) I'm talking Mint Mobile. $15 a month for phone service. I'm sure you're sitting there saying, what's this fat piece of shit talking about? Too good to be true. Got to be a catch. He's lying to us. What's the catch? Here's the deal. There is no catch. Mm -hmm. They cut out the middleman. Pass the savings right on to you. Phone sounds clear as a bell. Yeah, guys. It's the first company to sell wireless service online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet, sweet savings directly onto your sweet ass. Uh, I've been saying it for you. My wife has used Mint Mobile for years. Ryan years. Reynolds owns, owns the joint. What are we doing? Wait, you don't like Deadpool? You don't like Van Wilder? What are we doing here? I know. It's He's fa- a good-looking kid. It's fantastic. Uh, it's easy peasy. They send it right to your door. You pay them by boom, set it all up, keep your phone, keep the numbers. It, 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 any anxiety or worry that you have about switching, completely out the window with Mint Mobile. Uh, for anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service for just 15 bucks. 15 clams, 15 bucks, 15 shekels a month. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying one or a family. And Mint Mobile family started two lines. That's how they beat this. Yeah, system. I'm locked into a family pan. Meanwhile, with the with, with 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 the big guys, they're putting me over a barrel. Oh yeah, dude. It's you 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 might be stuck with your your big box wireless till like 2088. Such a uh, sucker. To get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. Mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. But, yeah. man, I went right back to being like, I don't know about that. You feel, and I go, we just own the situation. This woman thinks I'm poor. And I just had to fucking take it. Yeah, we can do multiple forms. Then I whipped out the other credit card that I just got approved for for the miles. Uh-huh. I opened it up. What is the Barclays? That's a personal. That's per yeah, it's all yeah. personal. I'm not buying fucking Hey, whatever you want to sh- do. <laughs> hey, okay. They called me for approval. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh so yeah, ju- it was just one of those like fucking gut. Ju- I was just like, fuck, this is this sucks. Yeah. It sucks. It's a tough look, man. 
I got. I'm just bad. I've always been bad with money, and I always will be. Fucking stink around. I, I I make sure. I don't walk into a situation blind anymore. I know. I make sure I know. And if it's a high pressure situation, I'm probably gonna what, take the finals. What do you mean? <laughs> it was game seven. <clears throat> no, I I took the I took the fam out to dinner. Uh, this was months ago, and I made sure that I had enough. Action. You run it after every course. I right, run it right. <laughs> All right. All right, take that here. Here, bring the check, girl. Let's get the appetizers out of the way. I couldn't find the entrees. Wait a minute. All right, guy with the cheesecake. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, crazy. pay as you go. <laughs> no, I made sure I had the money because that would have been an embarrassing situation. Sure. Yeah. I I made sure I had the money, the actual money on me. On you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then put it on the credit card. Mm-hmm. Then immediately ran to the bank the next day to try to get it back in there. But I can't go to a Navy Federal, so I got to do a three th- three step process. Sure. It's a three card Monty with you. <clears throat> yeah. I got to put it. My girl's got to deposit, Venmo it to me, and then get it over to Navy Federal. That's real fucking trashy. Yeah. Hmm. Go through the Panama Canal, as I call it. Uh huh. But. Good stuff. Uh, that being said, this is a uh, family episode. Guys, on a family episode, uh, when you join a Patreon, we will ask your garbage question over there. And how fucking fitting. This one's from Nick. First time, long time. <coughs> how about putting huge group meals on your card to feel good about yourself? Because then you collect the Venmo and it feels like you have a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. Feels like it, you're eating for free. Uh huh. He goes, yeah. If you put a big thing and then you get everybody sends you money and you got like four fifty sitting in the Venmo. What's the timeline on that? On what? And I don't operate like that. Sure. I don't operate like that. Okay. Either paying, we split it, whatever. But I guess I would. I just don't have that many friends. <laughs> I was going to say it's not like a gr- it's not like a, you're so generous that you've never been out to eat with anybody that hasn't been your parents. Yeah, it's true. Or me. Yeah. Uh, um. You go out to a situation like that, all right, couple couples, whatever it is. What's the timeline? Okay, you're paying. Here you go. Here it is. All right, it came to thirty, came to seventy dollars a person. Okay, when do you need that money by? Do I? At, not need it, but at the table. By the time I'm finished my coffee, what are you talking about? I I need it before we fucking leave. Um, no. Uh, at the table. At the table, I would do it. If I, if somebody put it on their card, I would pull out my phone and go. Here, because I'm I'm, I'm notoriously Venmo. bad at those things because I've never had money. So I would always be like, oh, I'll get you tomorrow. I'll get you when I get home. So like, I always try to kick the can down the road a little bit because I need a little fucking breathing room. I need after dinner drink money. See, th- t- tomorrow I know you got no money because there's no reason why you can't do it right then and there. I'm, I'm, the royal you. Sure. But there's that. There's also the thing of like that's a bit tacky of like. No, you don't ask. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. But I'm saying if you if 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 you. But there's also the the the, the position of it of like if if I went if out you're to dinner. Upset and... that, uh, if you're upset yeah. that I didn't pull my phone out and send it to you immediately while we're sitting there digesting, having a fucking a nice cup of coffee, that's a little tacky on your part. I don't think so. Then don't make the offer. Then go. Let's split it. You can't be like, hey, run my card and fucking give me the money right now. T-Bone, what do you think? If you're Venmo requesting. No, or, no, 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 no. You no, can't no, no, send. No, nobody. Re- Listen, Listen, I'm an uncouth fucking bonehead. Never would I send. Unless I, you owed me 12 grand, I would never send a Venmo request. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't send a Venmo request. Mm. That's just me, though. And also, I'm horrible with money. Except but- somebody might have asked me to do it. Which was weird. I don't know if I did it. Maybe like a booker or a promoter. Or I'll do like that, that now. So that somebody will be like, send me the request. If you know, I have maybe done that, or I'll tell people to send me the request. Yeah. So I, so I can find that way. It's easier. I know I'm sending it to the right person. Twenty four hours you have. Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I, I don't, I don't see why that's not something that can't be done at the table. If because you're because then what? Hold on, then what benefit? Or my not benefit, but like. Why don't we just split it then? Well, See what I'm saying? If you went into the meal preparing to, if it's a, to, if it's a convenience thing of like, oh here I got it. But everybody has hold their on, hold on, everybody just, has their phones on them at all times. I know. I also have my credit card on me at all times. Right. Yeah. So you may, the, reason, the only reason you would one person would be doing it to make it easy for the server. That's what you're doing it for. Yeah, but it's also like a vibe thing of like, all right, here I got it. Don't don't sweat it. The conversation's still going on. You're hanging. Uh huh. You know. 
That's the way I see it. All right. I'm like, hey, boom, you got 24 hours. You have to 24 hours. I know that I would. I wouldn't say anything. I would say, but I I'd would. Be, I'd be judging. Well, see, that's on you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's if on. If we you, went then. out to dinner with ten people, yeah, but then you can't go like, oh, I got it, and then just start immediately fucking hit a clock and start judging people on how quick they fucking pay you back. <laughs> that's what a psychopath does. Well, you sh- it should be done out of generosity of like, hey, sh- let's not fucking fuck up the vibe here. I got it. There you go. Let's keep hanging and talking. Otherwise, everybody just go get, get your card out and fucking split it. Hmm. You're saving if you're if it's a two cards, if it's a couple, two couples. You're saving the you're saving the waitress the waiter or the waitress five seconds. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's it's different if it's like seventeen. I, I people. would say more than not, the people that don't do it that night or the next morning are the dirtbags of the of the squad. Would you agree with me on that? I don't necessarily Have you ever not sent it? No. I've definitely kicked it down the road a while. What's a while? A week? I, I don't know. I don't know. Two, I genuinely I do Christmases. <laughs> I'm going to get you, buddy. Um, I genuinely don't know. But there's that's also, I don't like that, that you pay and then you start judging, judging how trashy people are. Yeah. No, that's that's trashy. It should be done out of the generosity of your heart. Otherwise, let's fucking split it. And then you're putting yourself in a position of power. Yeah, I thought that was the whole point of this. Of what, life? Yeah. <laughs> no. You, what do you mean? It's to have good times. Plus, I get extra bites of the dessert. Yeah, see, then you then you you try to be. You, I'm the only one that's allowed to use a table and don't think, for desserts. And don't Everyone think I haven't seen it. you this last road trip really fucking nudging me out of the way to to pay and look like the cool guy. Of course, yeah, that's. I got that platinum card. Yeah, it's all coming from the same spot. I know. Oh, oh, hard feelings. We're going to uh, save it. Oh, buddy, save it. I got a fucking bullseye. With, I got a bullet with your name on it. Are you kidding me? What? I think I know what you're going to start dabbling into. Okay. Well, save it. Yeah, we're gonna um, see you in about twenty minutes. <laughs> uh, also, we were just kind of talking about this from Harley Dallas Hutton, first time writer and ten dollar homie. Uh, which is the correct way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Peanut butter on both sides or one side of the bread? It's one and one, I would presume. I'm a peanut butter man, straight up. Stop. Slow down. One of the greatest questions ever asked. Mm-hmm. It's good. I love it. Now. It's got to be one and one. What are we doing here? Maybe throw a little J in there for Jeff. Yeah. Or AYG. Number bread. one, you start with fresh bread. You could do whole wheat or you could do white. Yeah, who's, who's, who's not using fresh bread for a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Patty Foley from 84 to cutting, 97. Cutting the fucking mold off the corner. That's who. Um, peanut butter soft because it's in the cabinet. Right, T-Bone? That's correct. Right. We learned that the hard way at the Foley household. Just ripping through fucking about strobes. About 10 years of that. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you make the executive decision go, Ma, we're not doing this anymore? I didn't know. I didn't know that that's why it was hard. That's how what? stupid we Haven't were. Haven't you gone over to someone else's house and been like, I never put- why aren't there holes in your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? This is crazy. I never put two and two together. Oh, I swear to God. We didn't start taking it out of the fridge until I was probably in high school. Had everything, the jelly in there, fucking butter and shit in it, crumbs. Yeah, it was wild. Hate it. But yes, room temperature peanut butter, one side. Okay? Then you take the knife to the other piece of bread. <laughs> clean it. Clean it. Then you go into the jelly and put the jelly on that side. Yeah. Close it up. Now, do you cut it in half? Never. Never. Back in the day, you did. Not if I was making it. Really? My mom wouldn't cut. I think my stepmom used to cut them. <sighs> stepmom used to cut them. Mom never did. Always cut it. Diagonal if you could. That was fancy. Yeah, right. What are you, the fucking Rockefellers? <laughs> cutting their sandwiches diagonal. That's fucking wild. <laughs> I know, man. My mom never did it. Didn't cost any money, but still was what rich people did. Yeah. Or servants. You look. That's <laughs> <laughs> this... what Jeffrey from fucking Fresh Prince did. The sandwich looked more salt of the earth if you cut it straight across. Yeah, it looks way smaller, too. Yeah. So where the fuck, where'd the other half go? What's going on? <laughs> this thing was fucking normal size a minute ago. Would you have your mom cut your crust off, Kip? I could see you doing that till about 17, 18. You're nuts. <laughs> Never. Love the crust. Crust is big, big crust guy. Get rid of that shit. 
You didn't like the crust? Not when I was a kid. What? I might as well have been. You're fucking... gonna sit here and judge me? You were a no crust sandwich. That dork? might as that might as well have been a cigar wrapper when oh, I was a kid. You're crazy. Hey, honey, do me a favor. Oh. I want you to take this plate, run back to the kitchen, get this bullshit off, and bring this back to me, okay? I'm never going to look at you the same. You've uh, admitted a yeah. lot of things. That's why. I didn't like the crust when I was a little kid. It was too... Pussy, it was, pussy, pussy, pussy. It was too dark. Yeah. It was burnt. I didn't like it. I, I learned to love it. I love it now. I'm all crust. No. I'll just, <laughs> I, I've seen your underwear. <laughs> no. I can't. I want, you're gonna sit I want here. to open a restaurant called Just Crust, where all we serve is crust. You're going to sit here I'll do the, and judge I'll do, me. I'll do you, the two ends. What are you talking you've about? You've lost all street I'll cred. I'll do the two ends right now. You've lost all street cred. Not having your fucking mom cut off the crust for your bitch ass. That's wild. You little fucking pussy running around with stains in your underoos. I think my father might have gave me that exact same speech one time. <laughs> yeah, you deserved it, too. How old? Uh, when did I start fucking with crust? Mm. That's a shame, man. Preteen. I would say up until 10, 11. That's like an eight-year-old still drinking their mom's boob milk. Yeah, I was smoking cigs at that age, too. dude. And you were afraid of crust? That's and you crazy. weren't smoking cigs at 10. 11? Nah. -uh. Yeah, it was. Whatever. Second hand, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the gyros. Hot boxing. <laughs> Casual dining joint. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, I didn't like the crust. That's some real push yet. And I always wanted strawberry jelly. Never got strawberry. My cousin, strawberry. Stra everybody had strawberry. We were fucking grape jelly. Not even grape jam. Well, Big strawberry jam guy. Okay. Every once in a while, she'd have a, uh, an orange marmalade in there for the wet and woolly or the or apple. What, what's that? A sex party? The wet and woolly. I told you about that. Wet and woolly. It's a it's a trashy. I don't know what you're saying. Wet and woolly. Wet and woolly. Wet and woolly. It's a dip. It's a party dip. It's no, it's, it's apple. It's apple marmalade or orange marmalade and horseradish, and you 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 put that over a brick of cream cheese, and dip uh, wheat thins or Ritz crackers in it. Okay. Top shelf. I th I know that. Sweet I don't know what is a. It's called wet and woolly. Pop and Molly. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, wet and woolly. That and the crab one we used to do too. What's the crab one? You get a can of crab meat, like real the real crab. The good meat. stuff. <laughs> Jesus. And you mix can that of crab meat. <laughs> you mix that with cocktails. What are you a longshoreman? <laughs> Can't get a can of crab meat. They sell get good some bread, not the stuff with the mold. They on sell it. good crab meat in cans. For dips Who? and things. Who's they? The government? Not a bumblebee. I don't know. Who's ever pulling the strings? No. And you mix, you take Shout the, out the chicken in a can, though. Got me through college. Chicken in a can's all right. Uh, yeah. It ain't too shabby. Pref uh, almost prefer it over tuna. They would cut. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't fuck with tuna, but the you smell don't fuck with alone. Tuna. Oh, really? I would have to well, take in the trash out as a little kid and there'd be fucking can of tuna in the recyclables make me want to puke. <laughs> Stuff do gummy bears on your nose. <laughs> I'll be like, clean out the recyclable. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 It'll, dude, I, dude, tuner will still get me if I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Might as well be like mustard gas, dude. That's just. <laughs> Hung around too. Canned dog food did that to me when I was <laughs> get the fuck, dude. Holy shit! I, I never remember, understood canned dog food. Oh, I got some on my sweater. You we were one always time. dry. Oh, you got some on my sweater. I did. Merry it, Christmas. It smelled for about six months. I had my mom wash it like a thousand times. Oh, but anyway, you get a can of crab meat, <laughs> you mix it with cocktail sauce, and you pour that over a brick of cream cheese. Dip your your okay. ribs. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to my cousin. Cousin's Halloween or Christmas party. Halloween party. <laughs> you guys really getting after it, huh? Yeah, we do. All right, this one's for me. First time, long time. Do you have any loose teeth as an adult? Nah, I got them all knocked out. Uh, that's bad. If you got, if you got a, if you got a wobbly incisor, that is a tough look. Yeah, I had it for a while. And things stunk. Really? I haven't too. Yeah, don't you remember? I remember a bad. I know it was loose. Nah, but for a, while, it was, it was. They were loose. The one was loose for like two months. And I would play with it and suck on it and stuff like that. Ooh. Suck on it. You're a fucking. 
Mm. Clear dude. I remember smelling it when they pulled it out. <coughs> oh, Damn. Did you ever catch one of those food that balls? Cold. The, the little, like, it's like a piece of food. Yeah. They get stuck, like, in your... Tonsil stones. It's uh, like maybe. a... It's like a... It's it, food. It, it smells like shit. Oh. Yeah, proper I thought shit. I was dying, dude. I was in, like, fifth grade or oh, something, I and I caught I was fascinated with them when I was a kid. I, I'm like, what the... I coughed, and I was like, what the fuck and is you that? And you your finger, and then it's and, not that bad when it's solid. Uh-huh. Once you smush it... It smells like straight poop. I almost told my dad. I was like, dude, I think I'm dying. Like, what? That just came out of me. I'm like, that ain't good. Hachi machi. Mm hmm. Yeah. Shout out to a tonsil stone. All right. This one's the jerk store. Ever flip one cig upside down in a fresh pack of Bernie's and call it your lucky cig? No, but people did that all the time. That was usually a pretty trashy girl thing. Yeah. Girls, yeah, definitely yeah. did that. That and people were scared of white lighters. Oh, I'll still not really fuck with a white lighter. Yeah. I wouldn't take one on a plane. What are you bringing a lighter on a plane? Oh, I mean, I used to catch fucking heaters heavy, bike. You don't remember smoking them on a plane? Not smoking oh, okay. on a plane. Okay. Um, you don't remember. I was going to say, why don't you start smoking? <laughs> right after my mom started cutting the crust off my fucking <laughs> sandwiches. I don't think that's a non-manly thing. I was a little kid. Uh uh-uh. uh. You weren't eating crust the whole time. There's no way. Yeah, well, I never remember the crust being cut off. And what about you, tippy toes? Tippy toes? Yeah, look at, look at you trying to spin this thing. Yeah, I bet you Toby did it. But absolutely not. Never. Yeah. No. I'm going to ask your mom. That's some whack ass shit. Catch you in a lie. <laughs> All right. Would you have toast when you were a kid? Yes. Rye toast. I didn't start eating till later in a game. I thought that was. I thought that was like fucking European or something. I didn't. My dad. When my dad moved out, he started keeping rye toast, and I was like, "Whoa, I don't think so." Big fan of rye. Nah, I get that. Never cut the crust off that. No, never. No, nah, loved it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to rye. Rye breads are dude. Rye bread at a dime. You go out. You go out to breakfast. Get rye bread at a dime. It's the best at home toasted because you can really control it. You got to mm-hmm. get that golden brown, crispy. But you know what I'm not a big fan of, and I was thinking about this the other day for some reason, is the patty melt. The patty melt can kick rocks. If you're not familiar with the patty melt, a patty melt is a burger that has cheese on it, caramelized onions, and it's done on rye bread like like a grilled cheese. Toby? Terrible. Terrible. Absolute dog shit. They suck. I've never had a fucking good one, and I've been suckered into buying them many times. I just keep going back, but they always stink. Sounds great. Sounds like it'd be good. You'd think it would be. Yeah, in the dust bowl. Yeah. I don't know. I'm in. Um, I think I did flip a cig every. There was might have been like a summer when I was doing it mm-hmm. because it's like I have bad OCD. So like once Dave it's in Matthews your, phase. No, never. Once it's in your head, you like. I can't not do it if I think about it. You know what I mean? Every pack of Marlboro Twenty Sevens has a lucky cig. Sure. Out. Yeah. yeah. Let me be bumming them off your buddy. I think Pat used to do it a lot. Don't take my lucky one. Yeah. Man. Oh, you only got the one left. Yeah. No. No. Not for me. Trash. Um. All right. Let's see here. Well, this one we did. We talked about right. But this is from. I just want to give him a shout. This is from Peppers. Uh. He said for our next Patreon goal, we should do a full on storage war. And that's what we're doing. Well, what if we do? You buy one, I buy one, and then we whoever gets the most money out of it or something. That might be pretty crazy. Yeah. So just rip off storage wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like we should go buy one. Or we should just buy one together. At the very least, we got to go drive prices sky high. I like the competition. But how do we value what things are worth? You'd have to sell it. And that's on, a lot of work. Uh, well, on the Listing sh- shit on eBay. On the, and show, on the show, they're so full of shit. They're like, oh, that's 50 here, 20. Get the fuck out of mm-hmm. here. Nobody's paying fucking 50 bucks or fucking... Uh, Pool balls where you're missing the nine ball. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so full of shit. Mm. That show was good in the early season, though. Yep. Yeah. What are you going to do with that shit? Just throw it out after we get it? I don't know. I guess lock it up, never pay the bill, and just have them resell it. At Ooh, some come point. back again, lowball them. <laughs> what if we What if we find something? That's. I mean, this Man. is all I've ever wanted to do. I told you I've... I've... That's what you were going to do. I kicked the tires on them a little bit. Really? Yeah. Wait, I, you... I used to work right next to one. An office that I worked at. I don't was think right... you told me this. Yeah, I have. I was right next to one. And they would be there. And I'd be like, oh, I'd 
didn't, you know, I didn't have any. If I had some scratch hole, I'd fucking toss my hat in the ring. <laughs> I, fully, I would imagine his like big win would be like an original Star Wars figurine. No, dickhead, fucking two million gold bars in cash. or something. Yeah, what are you <laughs> the fuck talking, you talking about? about? Buy my own toys. Yeah, DB Coop. Where are you at? <laughs> I'm looking for the necklace that old broad had in the Titanic. <laughs> the tuna of the sea or whatever it was. <laughs> Get my hands on that thing. Opals, diamonds. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm all about. Um, all right, this one's from Alex Thomas. $10 Hamey. Do you still pop the safeties off a of Bic lighter? That's a bad look. They don't really have them anymore. Uh, it's, it's the metal well, thing. Well, it's the metal thing. Yeah. I don't know if you can get that off. The crackhead lighters don't have that. Isn't it? Is that what you call them, right? They're called the crackhead lighters. What do you mean? That's just they're synonymously known as crackhead lighter. Anything that's not the a shitty bit. ones. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're like, they used to be at Buck or whatever, you know. Yeah. 50 cents. Those you just ripped the, the thing The clear off. one. <laughs> torch them. Yeah. Fucking lift it up. Turn that wheel. Get in the pipe there. <sighs> then you would get hit. You would. You would rig them. That's what we call rigging. You know, rig, rig the lighter. Mm -hmm. You would rig it so much, and then it would explode. It would hit its. It would like release too much gas or something, and it would fucking explode in your hand. I never had that. We had to light the long flame though. That would get you. Yeah. When you didn't realize that, you got to hit a fucking burning. Take the eyebrows oh! off. Yeah. As you're walking into a sorority house, looking like a bozo, missing an eyebrow. What's up? What's your major? <laughs> Um, you chicks got ointment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's your Neosporum at? Sporum? <laughs> Big Neosporum house. What are you saying? Neosporum. That's not what it is. Yes, it is. Sporin. Neosporin. All right, Neosporin. We call it Neosporum. Also, too. Sounds like a kid. I don't know if we've crust. discussed this, but my mom uh, reinvigorated it with me. What do you call the thing that you kill flies with? A fly swatter. That's we, not what you call it. No, we called it a fleisch water. I don't know why. That's what we called it. A, fl a fleisch water. A fleisch water. Is that like a fun bit? No. That's what I. That's what we. That's what I thought it was called for a long, long time. My mom. You, my mom called it a fleisch water. Two Sounds weekends ago when I saw them, or three weekends ago when I saw them. I don't even know how to respond to that. I know it's crazy. Fleisch water. Get the Fleischwater. That sounds German. I know. I, it's, it's crazy. It's, Fleischwasser. Yeah. It's absolute trash. Also, how many flies you got? Who's... It was a that's, a pro that's a product of the 80s and 90s. You shouldn't still have that many flies in your it home. There was a couple of flies in the house last time I was there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've ever owned a fly swatter. Down to shore you would. No, we always Those greenheads them. would come in. You know what I always wanted? The salt gun? No. Uh, those things are nasty. Pat had one. How are those legal? What? I mean, you're, you're, you're knocking everything off the table with that. What do you mean? With those things. I don't know what. I think I don't think we're on the it same sprays, page. It sprays. It sprays. It's not just going to hit the fly. It's going to smash a window or something. It's not coming out that quick. The one guy did it, and it broke skin. Broke skin on a guy. I don't know, that's not going to break a window. I don't know. Seemed pretty dicey. But I was going to say the electric bug. I don't believe any of this. The electric bug zapper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. We stayed at a cabin that had one one time. Catch a big one of those. Families that had those was so, pure garbage. Yeah, you shouldn't have that many bugs. If you lived in the country or whatever, that's one thing. You have it on the porch, whatever. That's something. You know what? But you shouldn't have that many bugs in the house. You know what? Not, Unless it's a regional you thing. You don't have those things in the house. It's Around in the, the house. There's something. You're not keeping up on a property or something. Dude, if you got an electric bug zapper in the kitchen. I think, I think he did in Waterboy. <laughs> that's a tough look. But for a while in the 90s, and this worked like a charm, uh, everybody had this thing in the backyard to collect beetles. Oh, the bags. Dude. Yeah, they would get a fucking heavy bike. Dude, that was like a fucking Denzel movie. I don't know what. How did they get in? There got to be some oil I, in the dude, bag or it something. It worked so fucking good. You'd but go, why were that? Why was that a problem? That was only getting. I don't know. Nobody didn't, has those now. Those beetle bags. No, but those beetles are around. We always, I always find them in the pool. I, I take them out and let, so they sure. don't drown. But the, they're not a problem. They seem to be a problem if you were catching them by the fucking. You know, they were back in the day. I the think they had case. their moment. They were the they were the lantern fly of the nineties. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When I I feel bad for the aggression that I put towards those beetles because they never did anything. 
They, they don't had bite. To do you. something though. Nah, they don't bite. I didn't like them. They would die. They'd be all crusty. Yeah, bite. they scared the shit out of you. It's the exoskeleton on them, John. No, I don't think so. They were scary, but they don't do anything. I save them now in the pool. Yeah, hitting the lightning bugs with a wiffle ball bat was one of my all-time favorite things. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Never killed lightning bugs. Really? No. My cousin used to make net jewelry out of them though. What? Yeah, I was pretty fucked up. Net jewelry. Made jewelry out of them. She'd get a piece of get a piece of grass. Oh, sure. And like you know, rip off the butt and put it around. Yeah, you smush it. I you like th- put it under your eyes and stuff. Yeah, I just thought it was inhumane. I love lightning bugs. Lightning bugs and dragonflies are my two favorites. Dragonflies. Love a dragonfly. Dude, I, ever, I don't know if I ever told you the story. We were staying in a motel, uh, in North Wildwood. My mom wasn't there. It was me, my aunt. My like my mom was probably working on the weekend and sent me down with my aunt. We were staying in I get I think she had a hotel for the, like the month like a mo like one of those motels you can rent for the month or the season. Yikes! <laughs> oh, she had it was great. You'd sit out on that balcony. You know those like real like you're just sitting next to your door and then it's like yeah. the window and then another door and every every building every uh, unit had a chair out front. Mm-hmm. Sit on that, go swim in there. I fucking loved it. But uh, my cousin was staying there as well. And if I was probably 10, she was maybe 20, something like that, 18, 19. I'm listening. And she had a boy. She was dating a guy who he was there in the kitchen. There was like 10 of us in this Jesus. fucking thing. Yeah, we're real fucking dirt. Bags. You're staying with your aunt, her daughter, and his her boyfriend's there? Yeah, I guess. Yikes. Or maybe or they have, maybe might have had their own and we whatever. I forget the I forget the logistics of it. I just remember being in a motel <laughs> with this dude who I didn't I think blocked that out is the correct correct term. <laughs> and a dra- he went into the he went into the kitchen and a dragonfly fucking was in there and he fucking pa- it scared the shit. Dude, he jumped out the second story w- window of the kitchen. And I was like, dude, I watched him go out the window. That's how afraid of the he like flew out of the sink or something. He shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I got to be like, fucking Steve, just fuck. And he came back up through the front door. I was like, what the fuck? I've never, that was the first time I saw anybody proper panic, <laughs> like proper lose their shit, Holy risking my shit. body to jump out of a motel room window. <laughs> I remember being, how the fuck did he not die? It was crazy. And leave a little kid in that. House. <laughs> yeah. He thought it was going to kill him. He rubs peanut butter all over you and jumps out the window. Yeah, needless to say, that relationship did not <clears throat> last. Yeah, no kidding. It's a real Costanza move right there. <laughs> I love dragonflies, though. And they don't sting. Dragonflies don't bite you, right? They can bite you. I don't think so. There's dragon in the name. I feel like I've made that joke before. Give that a goog. Um, all right, this one's from Julian. Uh, is it garbage if you consider Chipotle a healthy food option? No, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> if you don't get the rice, right? Fellas? I wouldn't say. If you don't get the rice, the cheese, and the sour cream, but then what do you do with that? air? The bowls are a... Does anybody get anything other than a bowl there? The burrito. The burrito. Nobody gets the tacos, right? I've seen people get the tacos. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd be friends with somebody that got tacos. It's got to be the same. It's the same shit. I know, but it's weird. Um, That's a bowl spot. Sure. Or a burrito. I would do. I've done a lot of burritos from there. It, I, tend, I think it tends to be... Not, it's not a healthy option. I think it would be a healthier option than other things I would get. I would put it that way. Does okay. that make sense? Sure. Instead of getting like a fucking cheesesteak and fries, I would argue a burrito well, bowl is a little bit better. I always thought it was. It's also to come from two fat pieces of shit, yeah. so clearly we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. I always about. thought it was a healthier option. Healthier is not healthy, though, just in comparison. Sure. Right? A yeah. cheesesteak is healthier than a cheesesteak and fries. It doesn't mean it's fucking healthy. Hmm. Yeah, you know I mean? Yeah, I feel. <clears throat> but fantastic nonetheless. Shout out to a Chipotle burrito bowl. Um, let's see here. This one's from Nathan. What up, bozos? First time, long time. Ten dollars scented trash bag here. I'll give you that. Ooh. Um, my question is: Have you ever used chopstick for non-Asian cuisine because you ran out of clean silverware in the house? Hmm. Can't say I have. 
now. I have 100% dipped chicken nuggets into honey mustard utilizing chopsticks. Really? That makes sense, though. And they also sell these little, they look like chopsticks, but you put them on your fingers. You put, they have two little hooks for like uh, Cheetos and popcorn and stuff like that. So you don't get that stuff all over your fingers. Really? What yeah. I what I just learned about chopstick is there's chopstick etiquette I didn't know was a thing. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to point at stuff. Nope. You're not supposed to talk. And you're not supposed to hand people stuff with your chopsticks. I've been breaking all the rules my yeah. whole life. Yeah, you're, you're, not supposed, you're not there's... supposed to stick it in, in, in the bowl either. That's a big no-no. It's... Stick it in the bowl. Like, say you have, like, a bowl of, like, poke or something like that. You're not supposed to, like, jam, like that. You're not supposed to, like, jam it in like that. And that, like pull something out? You no, mean? just like like if the you, rest it in there. Yes. Yeah, there's resting. There, yeah. There's, there should be like, doesn't it come with? So I just learned this: the disposable chopsticks, like the little the wooden johns, they have that thing on the butt of them that breaks off, and that acts as a resting thing. So that's where you should rest them. Does that make sense? There's like a little wooden nub when you break it off. Mm-hmm. It looks like the top of like a jewel pod, kind of. That is a rest, so you don't rest it in the bowl or on the plate or whatever. I haven't You're ever seen to... that. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure you have. I've so. seen the wooden ones where they're connected and you snap them like a wishbone. Yeah, at that, there's like a little nub, a little wooden nub on them. Huh. We would get rain out of Tokyo so fast. Yeah. yeah. I'd be asking for spoons and forks, and it's. I, I don't know how to use them. I can, like, kind of get by. I love them. But not, I'm just... I, the first time I used one was probably like I'm not even fucking around. Like when I, I met my wife was the first time I used one. I was I was trying not to be embarrassed. I'm getting pretty good. Yeah, big Korean barbecue guy, huge. Tss, 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 fucking oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I don't know. It's just a convenience thing to me, and I know it's uncultured and everything. But I'm like, just give me a fork. What are we doing here? A bowl of ramen with a fork is pretty banging though. Because you really get the noodles. That's what I'm saying. Why you am I fucking really eating like a bird noodles. over here? Let's go. You really Give get me the a backo, baby. Let me fucking, <laughs> fucking move some earth with that thing. You really get the noodles. Like eating spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do a couple more here. Um, this is from Lady Boner for T-Boner. <laughs> you ever tear off the first few pieces of toilet paper at a public restroom because it's quote-unquote contaminated. What a fantastic question from the, probably the greatest listener we've ever had. <laughs> I'm sure he's a great-looking guy. I see what she said. I do it all the time. If I'm using it to put on my face, like if I have to blow my nose or something. Okay. Yeah. I'll... <laughs> I do it regardless. I take. I might even use that to clean, but I usually just a couple pieces in the bowl, and then I start my process. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because if those are contaminated, I don't know what. I mean, theoretically, everything in that stall has poop sure. particles on. Sure, I'm just trying to trying to trying to you know limit the hemorrhaging. You know what I mean? Get through your day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, if they made a product like night vision goggles that would show you all of the germs, would you use them? They have that. Not. It's a black light. Absolutely not. Not everything shows up on a black light, but absolutely not. I, I, that's I'd have to fucking jump off a bridge. I wouldn't be able to do it. It's already. I already think it's bad. I wouldn't it be is able- bad. It's it's I, everywhere. I know. That's why I don't worry about the toilet paper on the seat or anything like that. It's all it's that everywhere. and you're also a fucking dirtbag. We're all one thing. You think that, that we that, are not the same. You think there's okay? A, the, we are not the same. You think there's air between us? It's it's molecules and atoms and skin cells and it's ether. We're all we're we're, we're all one thing. It's all everywhere. I don't even know what you're talking. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Get some neosporum for this guy. Fucking bozo. We just had to teach you how fucking a, a hotspot on a phone works. I'm not listening to you about fucking particles He's and like atoms. These chopsticks. Use them good. Yank a fucking nose hair out of you. Well, oh, ain't that good. Mm-hmm. Use them to eat a patty melt next time. <laughs> Boo. Patty melts stink. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Crispy. Okay. All right. I'm is sure. it garbage to have two baby teeth in your mid thirties? What the fuck? That's that's like that's, that's crazy. That's not good. How's that? That's possible? like next to power plant type stuff. Yeah, didn't get enough milk when you were a kid. Where are they? Oh, I have so many follow up questions that I also don't want to know the answer to. 
I knew a kid that uh, his parents would give him milk when he went to bed, and it fucked his teeth up. What do you mean? They would give, like, give him a bottle of actual milk when he went to bed, and that does something to the kid's teeth when you're a baby or something like that. I don't know. His were all jacked up, like, like rotted out of his mouth, his baby teeth. Yeah. That's not. I'm telling that's you. That's not milk. T-Bone, give it a goog. Babies with milk. Going to bed with a bottle, something like that. Milk on their teeth. That's like also not brushing your teeth, though. Kids drink milk all the time when they go to bed. All they get is milk, go to bed. That's a thing. Know. Damn, all types of milk can cause cavities if they are inappropriately consumed. Uh, if a baby, da, 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 uh, for example, cavities on the upper front teeth can develop if a baby with teeth is put to bed at night with a bottle of milk. You can't win, buddy. You're telling me, yeah, but that, but they also have to not be brushing your teeth or something. Doesn't say anything about that, does it? How many kids drink milk when they go to bed? Uh, uh, there's got to be a lot of kids. The the photo is in black and white, so I assume right, this is a 1920s yeah. problem. This is before fucking Crest was banging. What are you talking about? Colgate, Arm and Hammer. Yeah, maybe back in your, you know. You need fluoride. The only place you can get that is the Garmin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I it might not be good for it, but you, it's also like. Oh, don't all kids drink milk in bottles? That's what goes in bottles is, is milk. Not so not, they, not women's milk, cow milk. I'm not talking about lady milk. Yeah, but no, I think a lot of people still drink cow milk. Not a lot in of bottles. Kids, I would argue. That's formula, idiot. What are you talking about? They're not giving kids milk in yeah, a bottle. Yeah, babies drink formula. Yeah. How old was this kid? I don't know. He has baby teeth, so you know, I mean... It's not like he was a, to- a toddler. You wouldn't know him. Maybe he was a toddler. So he... They Is were it... giving him a bottle of milk to go to sleep at night. It, taking it with him. But also as a toddler, you wouldn't go like, oh, this guy's teeth are all fucked up. You're a toddler. I would be aware of it. I remember it was a thing. I'm telling you, man. Okay. T-Bone just backed me up and so did Google. Yeah, with science from before 1922. I don't know. How far did you have to scroll down? Uh, about 1918. <laughs> Piece of shit. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I feel like that would be a way bigger problem. I feel like a lot of kids drink milk. No, I don't. Think, am I am I wrong on that? I I don't think you're supposed to give kids milk when they go to bed. Mil- cow's milk. Okay. I'm not talking about formula. Yeah, but I'm. Si- okay. I don't know. I guess in my head I thought this kid was like eight or something like that. He but might why been- would he have a bottle? Uh, that's another situation. <laughs> I don't know what was. Yeah, no, for sure. Did you have your wisdom teeth out? No, I think they're bad too. Yeah, mine are creeping. I feel them. Yeah, I got. I one. felt them for years. I got one back here that comes in every once in a while. It hurts like a motherfucker. Uh, this is from John Wilkes Booth. Never had one red. Are you garbage if you have to wipe your feet before you put your socks on because there's a hundred percent hundred percent chance that the bottoms are covered in crumbs? Ooh. Found myself doing that today, actually. You got to give it like a quick little whatever's on there. Gotta keep I the get the dog clean. hairs tough, though. You got to keep the floors clean. Mm-hmm. I've had a bunch of shit on my socks that I've had to wipe them off before I put them in my shoes. They're oh. covered in fucking cat hair and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you got to give them a quick like fucking. Yeah. Quick little tussle. How you doing? Get the get the get the stuff off. Yeah. Having when you're walking around your house barefoot and you look at your feet and they're like dark on the bottom, that's a tough look. Mm-hmm. Get the Schwiffer, will you? I know, but it's t- it, the problem is it doesn't have to visually look bad for you to be like, oh shit, for that to happen. No, at the you're same right. Time. So it's like if you're like, oh yeah, it's clean, then you're like, oh, it is not. Yeah, you know, looks clean. like you were walking through fucking parking lot at a fish concert. <laughs> Walking around Woodstock all zoomed out. <laughs> all right, but we got to wrap her up here, gang. Gang, we love you to death. Love come you. see us at the old live shows there. Come out, grab the squad, come mm-hmm, and see us. Mm-hmm. Check out the Patreon. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.